Your weather authority forecast. Sponsored by Greenway of the Shoals. A new way, the right way. Greenwayoftheshoals.com. Good afternoon. Taking another check of the radar. We do have frequent lightning, especially associated with the leading edge of this wall of water, really, that's pushing through our area. A lot of this is approaching I-65 right now, the entire corridor from southern middle Tennessee down into north Alabama. Take a closer look, and we've got some of those reds here throughout Limestone County. Again, that's near Cairo. Elkmont heads up. It's just to your west. Athens to Tanner. We've got moderate to heavy rainfall. Frequent lightning from near Tanner all the way to Decatur. Decatur to Priceville, Hartsville, and Falkville. We have heavy rain and frequent lightning. Meanwhile, of course, we have rain to the west of these areas too. You can see around Coleman and Battleground and South Vimont. Also heavy rain and frequent lightning. Light to moderate steady rain continues for the shoals all the way down toward the Russellville area. Meanwhile, out ahead of it, Huntsville, we have yet to have any rainfall, but it looks like we just got a lightning bolt right near downtown and we'll continue to track this as it moves in from that direction. Again, the look at the rainfall totals over the past three hours and just a sample of some of those yellows show you that rainfall rates have been pretty high and we've seen three inches on the Doppler in just a couple of hours out there. So localized flooding will will be a threat tonight as well as that frequent lightning. Take a look at our Wheeler Lake camera where it is coming down and it's 85 degrees and it's so humid out there. Dew points are in the upper 70s and view right now from Athens showing the cloud cover and of course the rain on the lens. 86 in Huntsville now, 86 in Fayetteville. Rain cool there out in the shoals, low to mid 70s from there to Russellville. It's 85 in Decatur. Meanwhile, 89 in Fort Payne. Here's a look at those dew point values. Again, very high in the upper 70s for most of us and that is so very humid. It's tropical and it's making it feel like upper 90s to low 100s out there where we have not seen any rain. If you're out walking your dog here this evening, you'll want to stay weather aware. I'm expecting rain to likely be in the Huntsville Metro within the hour and as that rain comes in, the temperatures will likely cool to where we're seeing them out in the shoals. So likely when that rain does move in, those temps will fall down into the mid 70s. Keep an umbrella on hand. Future cast continues to bring this uh, movement of the rain from west to east and so so we're dealing with rain at 5 at 6 and possibly lingering into 630 and then it's quickly moving off to the east and it might weaken as it does so by the way, but we'll still keep those rain chances in for Sand Mountain, including those of you up around, uh, let's say uh, Jackson County into DeKalb County as well. Overnight tonight, it's low 70s, a 30% chance for a shower or thunderstorm popping up during the overnight period, light southerly winds. The forecast tomorrow, upper 80s to near 90 degrees and we're likely going to have some scattered showers and storms around in the morning and throughout the early afternoon before tapering off. Here's the forecast for the rest of the weekend and the Sand Mountain area in particular. Upper 80s for Saturday and Sunday. Just a 20% chance now of a pop up shower or thunderstorm for the back half of the weekend and for the shoals. Look at the heat building into next week, mid to upper 90s and that's the case for the Huntsville Metro coming up in the next half hour. More live radar checks and we'll take a closer look at what's causing this big time heat to once again develop across the Tennessee Valley.